In this lesson, we're going to use geometrical facts to set up and solve quadratic equations. With a right angle triangle, we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem to set up the quadratic. So we have x plus 6 squared plus x minus 1 squared equals 3x minus 2 squared, which is Pythagoras' theorem. So now we can expand x plus 6 squared and we'll expand x minus 1 squared. And we'll expand 3x minus 2 squared. So we begin with x plus 6 squared. We have x times x to make x squared x times 6 to make 6x and again and 6 times 6 to make 36 moving on to x minus 1 squared we've got x times x to make x squared x times negative 1 to make negative x and again and negative 1 squared is 1 and that equals 3x r squared which is 9x squared 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x. And again, and then negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Now, we can begin to simplify this long equation by collecting like terms. So we have x squared plus 12x plus 36. Add x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. Now collecting like terms again, we have got 2x squared on the left hand side plus 10x plus 37 equals 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. And we can rearrange the terms to make the quadratic equal 0. So we'll subtract 2x squared from both sides. We'll subtract 10x from both sides. And we'll subtract 37 from both sides. So we are left with 7x squared minus 22x minus 33 equals 0. So we've shown this quadratic equation. Now we're going to use the quadratic formula to find the value of x. So we can equate it with ax squared plus bx plus c, which is the general quadratic formula. And we can use this as a formula, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a, which you can derive by completing the square of the general quadratic. So a is 7, b is negative 2, and c is negative 33. We'll put these values into our formula. So negative minus 22 plus or minus the square root of negative 22 squared, which is b squared, minus 4 times 7 times negative 33, all over 2 times a, 2 times 7. And you can work that out on a calculator and you get x equals two values, negative 1.1 and x equals 4.25. Now, you know x equals negative 1.1 cannot be the answer because you cannot have a negative length. So x must equal 4.25. And we can put 4.25 into our right angle triangle. So the base is 3.25 and the height is 10.25 and now we can work out the area of a right angle triangle by doing base times height divided by 2 which comes out as 16.7 units squared moving on to a different problem now we're going to work out the length of a path which we've been given as y. So there's a y meter there's a y meter path along the border of a lawn. So 
the area of a path would be the big area of a rectangle, which includes the path and the lawn, minus the area of the small rectangle, which is just the lawn. So we're going to work out the big area, and we're going to work out the small area, and we'll subtract one away from the other. So the big area is the height of lawn, which is 10, plus 2y on either side, so 10 plus 2y. And the length of a rectangle is the length of the lawn, 15, plus the length of the y of a path on either side, so 15 plus 2y. And we can multiply this out to make 150, which is 10 times 5, and then 10 times 2y, 20y, plus 30y, plus 4y squared. which works out as 150 plus 50y plus 4y squared. And we're going to work out the area of a smaller ring. And the area of a smaller rectangle is the lawn, which is 15 times 10. So the big area minus 150, you can see the 150 is cancel. So the area of a path is 50y plus 4y squared, or 4y squared plus 50y. Now we told him the question that the area of a path is equal to the area of a lawn. So 4y squared plus 50y has the same area of a as the lawn, which is 150. So we've got a quadratic which we can make equal 0. So 4y squared plus 50y minus 150 equals 0. And we can factorize this quadratic by dividing out by 2. So 2y squared plus 25y minus 75 equals 0. Now to solve this quadratic, we can factorize. So I'll replace y with the x. x plus 15 and 2x minus 5 equals 0. So x will equal negative 15 and x will equal 5 over 2. Again, you can't have a negative. So the length of the path must be 2.5 meters. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. And check out the link in the description for the full lesson.